Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So for this video, I'm going to do a prison style water bag workout video. So stay tuned to the end and I'm going to show you how I make it as well as what I think about it. So to start off with this video, you really don't need much but just two trash bags and some water of course. I prefer these heavy duty trash bags but any trash bags would do. As you can see, I'm holding the two trash bags right here and we're just going to start off just using one so you could just toss the other one to the side and you can see here this is the opening of the first bag. Um, you want to flip it over and go to the bottom of the bag and basically just tie a knot at the bottom. Uh, tie down, uh, double knot it, triple knot it, any way you can just to make it tight so when the water goes in the bag it stops at that point. So that way it's more uh, compact and the water isn't splashing everywhere and it just holds the water at a certain point. Also to mention this isn't my idea obviously and I've never been to prison and I don't plan on it. But on my channel I like to try different things as far as uh, DIY workouts goes and I like to learn from different types of people. And uh, this is a creative and unique way to try to get a workout in. So, But yeah, after you tie the bottom of the bag, just fill the bag up in the sink like I'm doing right here. For those who don't know, a gallon of water weighs about 8.3 pounds, give or take. So I think one gallon is about 8.3 pounds. And these standard black trash bags should be able to hold to at least 40 pounds. Uh, keywood should so that's why we double bag it and you know make sure there are no holes or leaks in it before we start but uh yeah here's a full disclaimer do everything you see online especially on my channel at your own risk uh do your own research and if you do something you see online just make sure you know what you're doing and do it at your own risk you want to have some common sense this would have been a lot easier if I had the bag in a bigger sink, but it's going to work regardless. So once you fill your bag up with however much water you want it to be, um, just tie the top portion down and you want to tie it into several knots. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight so the water doesn't leak out. Then once that's done, you're going to take your bag full of water and you're going to put it inside your second bag like I'm doing right here. Once it's in the second bag, you want to tie a knot on top of the bag over the first one so they're both nice and secure so when you hold the end of the knot, um, you hold the entire bag. Sorry, it's kind of out of view here, but just keep it simple. Tie the top bag down so you can hold the knot and it's attached to the first bag. So when you hold the knot, it's almost like you're holding it into a single grip like that. And that's pretty much it. And after I weighed this bag, it's about 37 pounds. So it's just under four and a half gallons of water in this bag. Okay, so let's get this workout started here. You can see me just doing some basic hammer curls with the water bag. Honestly, it, it does feel really good. Uh, it gives me a pretty good pump and obviously it's not going to replace real weights. But if you have nothing, um, you really don't have an excuse if you have two trash bags and some tap water to run through. And obviously you can make it a lot heavier or lighter depending on what your need is. But for hammer curls, you definitely feel a really good pump. So I could definitely see someone getting a good workout from just using these. And here you can see me lifting the bag with two hands. It's not as heavy, but you definitely still get a good pump from this. And these would be great if you combine it with other home workouts, such as burpees, uh, push-ups, um, adding it to your routine. Once again, if you have nothing to lift at home, but think about it, you could actually just grab a bag or a backpack, throw some heavy books in there and curl it or lift it like I'm doing right here. But uh, water is a pretty unique way to work out and I could see how prisoners who don't have access to a gym could get a good workout in with just this. So really you have no excuse to not work out even if you don't have a gym. 
But obviously you don't need to go to prison to work out. I don't really recommend that. But here I am doing tricep extension with the bags. Uh, it feels kind of awkward with, you know, the bag rubbing against my back, but um, it's not bad. It's still a pretty good pump with the bag. If it was heavier, yeah, I would have felt it more, but um, yeah, another workout you could do with this bag. And I know there's obviously so much more, but I'm just trying out different things to show you different moves. I like trying different DIY workouts because um, if you haven't noticed, my channel started as a DIY workout channel. When quarantine happened, all the gyms were closed, so I started doing different type of home workouts, full body workouts, and DIY lifts such as lifting cinder block and stuff like that. So I always like trying different things when it comes to working out. And here I'm about to do some seated curls with the bag to see how it feels. If the bag was tied more tighter and you know it wasn't so bulky, it, it would have been better. Right here, um, the range of motion is kind of bad because you know as soon as I lower my hand, the bag touches the ground, so not much range of motion. But if I did the bag better and I tied it more tighter, then yeah, it would have been a pretty good thing to curl but once again you don't need to fill the bag up with water you could actually load it with books or anything heavy like if you don't have any dumbbells at home and you have a backpack just put some books in there and just find creative ways to curl it if these guys who are locked up they don't have access to a gym sometimes I'm guessing it just depends on the prison or if they're just in their cell, they could find creative ways to work out. You can work out too if you're at home. And that's pretty much it for this prison water bag uh, workout video. As you can see, I'm working outside in my backyard before I dump the bag out. And it actually held the water up pretty well. Um, the water didn't get out at all when I was lifting it because I tied it so tightly. When you're doing this, make sure you check your bags, make sure you know there are no holes in it. And when you set the bag down, make sure there are no sharp edges at the bottom that could cut the bag or anything. But yeah, this is just a fun creative thing to try if you're interested to see how you know other people might be working out if they don't have access to a gym or if you don't have access to the gym, you don't have any dumbbells. But uh, yeah, that's all for this video. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I actually do a lot of DIY workout videos. I made my own dumbbells out of uh, cement. I also use cinder block to lift as well. So if you want to check it out, feel free to subscribe and definitely hit me up in the comment section. If you have any questions and or suggestions, take care guys, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Screw off one end of the pipe, add the floor flanges, the screws, and screw the end with the flanges down first. With the concrete, it actually hardens pretty pretty fast, so it'll it'll hold it in place even with the extra weight. So just make sure you push it down in the middle right the first time and hold it steady for a bit and it'll hold. <laughs>